Sir Lance. Salamat po sa pagkakataon na ito na makausap po po kayo. Ay, salamat ka, Tunjing, at uh, inibita mo ako. Opo. Actually, nung pong nalaman namin na pumayag kayo na, na makausap namin, ma-interview, eh, sobrang masaya po kami kasi hindi niyo po na itatanong. Nabasa ko po yung maliit na libro na inyo pong uh, sinulat. Uh, bakit niyo ba ginawa yung libro na yun? I think, mga po ng 90 years old yung tatay ko at that time. So, mm-hmm. parang, kapatid ko ay isang publisher si si Liza. Yeah po. And so mga sabi niya abang buhay pa yung tatay ko. Let's let's come out to the little book full of mga wise sayings. Yes, niya, yes. Gusto ko sa sa buhay niya. Yeah po. So so we put together uh, that book for his for his 90th uh, birthday. Nakakatuwa po eh, madali hong basahin eh. Uh, at tama kayo, ang daming napupulot. Tala niyo ang isa sa napulot ko doon, yung sinabi ng inyong ama na pag hindi ka nagtrabaho, hindi ka kakain. If you don't work, you don't eat. Ano po ba yun? Patakaran niya talaga pati sa pamilya? O uh, bakit ganun ang naging uh, mantra niya sa buhay? I guess yan ang personal values niya. No? Mm-hmm. If I learned anything from him, it's really the value of hard work, the value of living a simple life, having a good reputation. Mm-hmm. So I think you know, working hard is, is really very important to him and I guess that's the life lesson na tinuro niya sa amin. Opo. Pwede ba lang sabihin na idol niyo yung tatay niyo? Ay, definitely. Opo. Ano po yung mga pagkakapareho niyo at saka pagkakaiba kung meron ma? Similarities are, I guess we both smile, laugh. Even. Opo. Mm-hmm. We work hard. Generally, we live quite simple lives. I think we're mahilig sa business, I mean, mm-hmm. entrepreneurial. Opo. Try And then I think we both like to lead, to read, and to to learn. Yes. Ah, uh, the difference, namin is I think he grew up anak siya na mayaman pero his his dad passed. Yeah, no, no, maaga siya po. So na wala yung fortune nila tapos uh, dumating yung Second World War. So duman siya sa paghirap nila. Yeah po. Tapos ng uh, high school at that time and mm-hmm. start working. Whereas ako, I've always lived the privileged life. Yeah, po. So parang I guess the main difference is duman siya sa mas, mal- mas malaking hirap kaysa sa akin. So with me, I sinasabi nila, I, in many ways, I grew up with a yun, silver spoon. Silver spoon. <laughs> so, so he always taught me na dami kong privileges or uh, I have to pay it forward. No? Yes, yeah po. Eh, katulad po niya, 13 years old pa lang, nag-umpisa na siya magtrabaho. Litinda naman eh. Kayo po ba ay uh, inubligan niya na dumaan din sa mahirap na klase ng buhay? Kahit na kayo ay born with a silver spoon, ikaw nga. He expects na, yun nga, if you don't work, you don't, you don't eat. Pero importante rin sa kanya, like, pagbalik namin after school, and during summers pa lang, mm-hmm. even when we were growing up, every, every Saturday, we will go with him to the office. Yeah, bro. And then... Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll stay in the office, learn about the business. Kung maaari, nagtutulong kami sa, mm-hmm. sa, sa office. Pero actually, siguro naglalaro sa office <laughs> na niya. Pero mm-hmm. when we were going to high school or college, during summers, nag, nagtatrabaho na kami ng uh, kapatid ko. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when I came back from college, uh, we we started from from the ranks. No, I started as a sales salesman sa URC. Yeah, wow. uh, Dumadaan kami sa mga market stores, mga mm-hmm. sanitary stores, nagbibenta kami ng jacket, jill, yeah, product. Uh, so, we really, he insisted that we we learn the business from from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Eh, gano'n po ka-importante yun? I think it's very important kasi I think it's very hard to na magiging bossing ka kagal. Like, mm-hmm. Kailangan maintindihan mo yung mga customers mo, anong, anong inisip ng customers mo, anong gaano kahirap yung buhay ng yes. regular employee. Mm-hmm. So, dapat may have a certain bit of empathy no, para mm-hmm. to, to be able to be responsive to customer needs. You have to, to be always learning. No? Yung pong isang kwento nyo na nabasa ko dun sa libro, parang may break lang sa eskwela nyo sa Pennsylvania. No? Umuwi kayo dito para magtrabaho at uh, magkano nga ho yung unang paycheck ninyo? <laughs> uh, pag, yung pag-graduate ko yung unang paycheck ko mm. uh, I guess lahat ng kaklase ko nag-aaral sa galing, sa, galing kami sa UPenn no? sa, mm. sa, 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 sa Wall Street yeah, 
dollars yung iniipon nila. Ako yung first jump ko, pagbalik ko, 2,000 pesos per, per month. <laughs> Pero, at least at that time, I guess 1988 pa lang yan. So, uh, right, 2,000 uh, pesos. Uh, 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 medyo malaki na ang siya ngayon. Uh, medyo malaki na siya ngayon. Yung pong ganong klase ng, uh, ng experience ay... Actually hindi naman hindi namin inaasahan mula sa katulad ninyo na anak ng isang uh, big time na big shot na at kahit during that time. Ganon din po ba ang ang gusto niyo mangyari sa sa mga anak ninyo, ganon? I think so. I think mm. very good training na uh, mga tao, yung mga bat, bata. I think they have to be grounded eh. Mm-hmm. I, think they, they, I think they will not appreciate uh hindi mo appreciate yung achievements more the what you've accomplished kung hindi ka nag naghirap tayo pa parang mm-hmm. I guess, uh, normal life din yun kung nad- madaling do- dumating sa you don't appreciate as well. oh, you oh, appreciate oh. something after kung alam mo may real effort may real struggle bago bago na achieve mo yung yeah, uh, oh. achieve mo. Doon po sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ito po yung binanggit kong eskwela hang kanina, Wharton yun eh. Uh, tapos si Sir Lance dito ay summa cum laude lang naman, ano? Tapos double degree pa. Matindi ho yun. Ha? Pwede nyo bang ikwento sa amin yung study habits ninyo para doon sa mga nanonood sa atin? I mean, I amin mean ko talagang medyo hardworking ako tsaka medyo bookish ako sa mm-hmm. school. I was mm-hmm. first I know my parents sacrificed a lot para makapag-aaral ako sa Amerika at yeah, that time, konti lang nag-aaral sa yeah, Amerika. So, uh, fortunately, I was able to get into Wharton, as you mentioned, which is uh, top school in the U.S. So, uh, I took up finance at Wharton and I took up applied sciences uh, in the mm-hmm. Beth Engineering School. I have to say, five-year course yun, pero mm-hmm. natapos ko ng four years na. Oo, oh, hindi. <laughs> Talaga, mag ako. Mas magaling pala ako sa inyo, sa Airlines. Bakit? Yung four-year course, kinuha ko ng ten years eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh kayo, five years, kinuha nyo ng, uh, ng four years lang. At, <laughs> at isa pa palang uh, trivia ha, sa Xavier pala, kayo kauna-unahan na nag-skip ng grade? Correct, correct. Opo. Ang tindi pala, dapat pala may posti kayo dun sa, sa Xavier. Ano yun? Kwento nyo nga sa amin, ba't kayo na-accelerated? Accelerated, ganun po ba ang tawag? Mm. Uh, I guess, at that time, uh, ibang curriculum ng Xavier, parang it, it was called individualized instruction. So, mm. may teacher, pero meron yung mga workbook. So, kung natatapos mo yung workbook, pwede kang pumunta sa, you can move forward, no? Mm-hmm. Like grade 3. Kung grade 3 ka, pero mahilig ka sa math, you can do grade 4 math, grade 5 mm-hmm. math. Mm-hmm. Eh, nung grade 6, tapos natapos ka na yung grade 7. So, yeah, well. guess, sabi nila, sige, diretso ka na ng yeah, well. uh, high school. Hindi, pwede ko ba sabihin, kayo po ay genius? Masipag lang. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko nga, yung mga nanonood sa atin na estudyante, maswerte dahil marami dyan, pag-aaral na lang ang kailangan nilang gawin. Yung magulang nila, naga, nagtatrabaho na. Sabi ng iba, uh, ang araw ay ginagawang gabi para lang mabigyan ng mga edukasyon yung mga bata. Pero kayo pala, uh, kahit anak mayaman kayo, sub-sub pa rin kayo sa pag-aaral, hindi yung bulabulak-bulang. Ano? Correct. Ano po yun? Anong oras kayo gumigising? Anong oras kayo natatapos mag-aaral? Wala bang good time yun nung nag-aaral kayo sa kolehyo? Ay, kasi priority ka talaga yung, yung, yung studies. Mm-hmm. Pero, I mean, I, I also have uh, leisure time naman, uh, mm-hmm. especially after after school, after studies. I mean, mm-hmm. there's time for things I enjoy doing. Opo. Ang tatay niyo po ay napakahalaga sa kanya ng pag-aaral, ano? Kahit na hindi naman siya nakatapos ng kolehyo, pero siya pala ay nag-masters bago mag- matapos ng kolehyo. Pakikwento niyo nga yun. I, th- uh. I think dahil nga namatay yung tatay niya, tapos mm-hmm. naging Second World War. Mm-hmm. After that, hindi na siya nakatapos ng college. Mm-hmm. Pero in the 19... I think late 60s, eh, siguro he was doing business. Tapos sabi niya, kailangan ko pa mag... Wala akong skill set sa mga finance, yeah, ako, but, uh, but. basic skill sets for business. So, nag-enroll siya sa Lasal. So, yeah, uh, as MBA. Mm-hmm. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, ah, mm-hmm. siya daw top student. Mga guro, <laughs> mga guro niya talaga mga sikat at uh, uh, Mr. Birata. Ah, uh, Cesar Birata. Uh, uh, Larry Paterno. Mm-hmm. 
So, during the time, we top student. Bibigyan na siya ng MBA. Mm-hmm. Tapos nakita nila, teka, di pa siya na, di pa siya natatapos na college. Kapag <laughs> uh, maging MBA, uh, college degree. Eh, paano po nangyari? Uh, I, I, from what I understand, uh, they just awarded him na lang a college degree. Uh, uh, MBA. Uh, 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 dahil pre- time, prerequisite sa prerequisite MBA. MBA. College degree. And hindi. So, may pinagmanahan pala kayo sa, sa galing. Hindi lang nakatapos agad-agad. Ano? Ang inyo pong pamilya, ay sobrang daming tinutulungan ng mga estudyante. Ba't po doon ang direksyon ng inyong, ang, ang inyong pagiging pilantropo? I guess yung philosophy ng dad, dad ko is maybe because he, didn't, he did not benefit from that education. Siguro na-miss niya talaga yung opportunity to, to learn. Sabi niya, I guess education is, sabi niya nga, it's, it's the great equalizer. equalizer yeah. Gusto niya, if everyone, irrespective of your starting point, has the same access to education, then hopefully they become uh, self-reliant. Yeah, yeah. The like concept of that is you, you, you don't give up man a fish, not teach mm, the man to fish. Yes, it yeah. becomes self, self-sufficient in, in the future. So he felt that education was really the best gift you could, you could give uh, somebody. It will help the individual, and in the long term, it will help the community and the, the country. Ang bansa po. Tapatingin nyo nga ako, totoo ba na kayo po ay expert in women? Ay, hindi po yun. Ay, hindi po ba totoo yun? <laughs> eh, 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 kasi ho... Sabi lang, summer job ko nung nasa States ako, bumalik ako dito, nag-umpisa pa lang yung Robinson's Department Store. Ah, po. So, in first job ko is, maglalagay ng price tag sa mga... Uh, assorted items. Ah, eh, nasign ako sa section na uh, bra. Tapos <laughs> so, ang nalagay ng preso sa budget tagal. Ah, 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 price tag sa bra. Ah, ah, so may cup A, cup B, cup C. Ah, ah, so nilaloko ako ng kapatid ko. Mm. Dahil ako, yan ang unang trabaho. Expert na daw sa... <laughs> lahat ng sana, klas. Sana, sana. <laughs> lahat ng klase ng, ng bra size. <laughs> expert lang sa bra size. Expert sa babae. <laughs> <laughs> Buti ho, nilinaw nyo kasi yung po daw ang reputasyon nyo eh, matinik daw po kayo eh. Nung pala, matinik sa pagtatag ng... <laughs> ng... Uh, ng, ng uh... <laughs> Opo. Sa magkakapatid po, eh, kayo daw ang paborito ng inyong ama? Uh, definitely, ako ang paborito ng uh, anak na lalaki. <laughs> <laughs> Dahil solo kayo. Sa limang sister ko eh. Opo. Limang babae, isang lalaki, hindi ba kayo nahirapan doon? Tumakas ang EQ ko. Mm-hmm. Eh, limang babae. Yeah, so, dapat marunong sumagot. Basta mas matanda yun. Dapat mas bata. Yeah, Usually, mga babae, sama-sama sa dapat. Yeah, you have to build good relations with, with all the apps. Yeah, eh, sino pinaka-closest sa inyo? Ay, lahat sila. Kapatid. Lahat sila. Kaya, ah, ah, <laughs> pantay-pantay lang. Right. Eh, meron kayong kapatid na kambala, no? Si Faith, saka si Hope. Si Rubina daw, may may kambal naman na ahas. <laughs> Ba't na paulit, paulit-ulit na lang yung kwento na yan? Ano po bang totoo dyan sa, sa Robinsons na yan? Magandang kwento yeah, behind that. At that time, may magtatayo kami ng department store sa, sa Cebu. Yeah, Siguro mga 40 years ago. Yeah, po. Eh, at that time, mga uh, provincial department stores lang sa Cebu. Siguro sabi ng mga kalaban namin sa Cebu, ako, nakakatakot ko. Okay? Mm. May papasok na kalaban mm. galing sa Manila na nagkatayin mm. ng Robinson's Department Store sa Cebu. So, gumawa sila ng kwento na uh-huh. pag pumunta ka daw sa dressing room ng Robinson's uh-huh. Department Store at natipuhan ka, mm. may kapatid daw si Rubina na uh-huh. ahas na uh-huh. kung nag-chit, nag- nagtatryan ka na uh-huh. may biglang may uh-huh. lalabas na shoot ka. Uh-huh. Uh, baka, baka, tapos, uh, ayun, kakainin, kakainin ka ng ahas na, ahas na kapatid ni Rubina <laughs> I guess na natatawa na lang kami sa kwento na yan si, si Rubina nga very good naman yung sense of humor mm-hmm. yung, mm-hmm. na siya ng promo dati sa uh, Robinson's Department Store kung bum- nag-shopping ka sa Robinson's Department Store umabot ka sa certain minimum I think 1,000 at that time mm-hmm. ka ng ahas na <laughs> ahas na lugo <laughs> galing, magaling na <laughs> okay, ahas. magaling na promo sold, sold out ka sold out <laughs> oh, well. so, pag, walang walang din naman kayo na nagalit doon nung lumabas yung at least nung, nung umpisa siguro sa umpisa na parang sabi namin napaka-creative ng mga kalaban namin na gumagawa ng 
Oh, oh, po. May documentary nga po na nagsabi na parang may 50 versions na yata yung <laughs> uh, uh, ahas kwento na yan eh. Correct, correct. In fact, ginawa namin spoof na lang, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, nung relaunch namin yung Robin Source Gallery, uh, we invited Alice Dixon. Uh, mm-hmm. or isa, isa sa 50 rumors is si Alice Dixon eh, uh, wala dahil, dahil, uh, dahil, uh, dahil uh, kinain ng ahas. Uh, 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 Pero bumalik si Alice Dixon, <laughs> ganda-ganda pa rin. Uh, 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 at least, uh, nagsashopping siya sa... Uh, sa Robinsons Gallery. Uh, baka yung anak ng ahas nandiyan uh, <laughs> sa, sa baba. No? Sa inyo pong limang kapatid na babae, isa po ang nalagay po sa mabigat na sitwasyon, si Rubina, no? nung siya ay nakidnap. Ilan taong ba kayo nun? Ako nasa high school, mm. third year. Si Rubina, third year college, nasa UP siya. Apo. So on the way to school, uh, nakidnap siya. Apo. And uh, she was, uh, me, she and her, my cousin, were uh, held for ransom for, for mm-hmm. one week. Yeah, well. uh, fortunately, she was uh, rescued. Mm-hmm. Rescuer na niya si, si Pink si Lakson. Lak, so, oh. so, we're very grateful to Senator Pink. For... Totoo bang inaalok niyo ng pabuya si Senator Pink Lakson nun? Yeah, we sabi namin kay Senator Pink and his, his boss at the time, I think General Olivas, yeah, yeah, how How can we repay your, you know, I'm yeah, very grateful you, mm. you rescued uh, my sister. Sabi, yeah, oh, no, no, nothing for us, but if you want to help the police, we'll be very grateful. So my dad bought cars for the mm. PNP at that, at that time. Ano ang pakiramdam niyo na may ganun police na tumatanggi sa, sa reward o ano man? Oh, but... it, it parang talagang... Ma- Maraming nagsasabi lahat ng police ganito, lahat mm. ng government official lang ganito. Mm. Hindi niya totoo. Maraming, mm. there's really a, really a lot of uh, dedicated uh, people working at the Philippine government. So parang nagkaroon na rin kayo ng siguro ng relasyon, pagkaibigan doon kay Senator Lacson after that, ano? Correct. correct. Mm-hmm. Natawa ako doon sa isang uh, uh, quotation na uh, ina-attribute po sa daddy niyo. Noon daw pong nakidnap, kausap siya ng kidnapper. Sabi daw ng tatay, di ba alam, may apat pa naman akong anak na babae. Magaling mag-negotiate ito. <laughs> takot na takot siya, pero uh, may nag-guide sa kanya na police kasi mm. yung police negotiator. Yeah, po. Sabi ng police negotiator sa kanya, pag tumawag yung kidnapper sa'yo, dapat, dapat calm ka lang para yeah, makapapapapapapapapapap. Yeah, Masyadong yeah, mm-hmm. may iyakit sa'yo. Mm-hmm. So, tumawag yung kidnapper na, kung hindi mo ito ginawa, mm-hmm. papatayin namin. Mm-hmm. Dad ko, sige, patayin mo. Meron pa naman akong apat na apat na anak na babae. <laughs> Tapos sinabahan niya yung phone, sabi ng dad ko. Para sabi ng police negotiator, Mr. John, mm-hmm. medyo sabi namin dapat tough cool. ka, pero medyo too tough. Sabi <laughs> niya, <laughs> Mamira, matindi, matindi eh. Ano, ganun ang negotiator. Pero hindi lang daw siya dun sa negotiation na yun magaling. Magaling daw siyang tumawad. Magaling siya tumawad. Kahit sa mga, sa mga pagpunta niya sa abroad at naghahanap siya ng mga makinang ganito, may bibili siya. Magaling daw tumawad pong si Sir John. Si Sir John. Uh, mm-hmm. Sabi nga daw sa libro eh, yung presyo ng dalawa, makukuha niya sa isa, mga ganun daw eh. Magaling daw. Magaling daw siya sa ganun uh, negotiation eh. Yeah, sa kanya, he's a very good negotiator mm-hmm. for business. Uh, naibala, naitawag nga nga niya, balik sa Amerika, 2,000 pesos it's well. Ako sa bagay, no? Yung pong binanggit ninyo sa libro, tungkol sa... <laughs> Uh, yung pamilya is there to serve the business and not otherwise, ano? mm-hmm. not the other way around. Ano? Normally kasi tayo, magninegosyo para sa pamilya. Yung prinsipyo yung binanggit dun eh, eh paki-expound nyo nga yun. I guess yung sinasabi ng tatay ko is the family is there to serve the business. The business is not there to serve, serve. the family. Mm. I guess yun, para tumagal yung business. Ah, It's important na you continue to invest in the business para it remains competitive. It can grow. It mm. can employ more people. Kung kinukuha nyo yung family needs sa, sa business at nalugi naman yung business, mawawala rin, mawawala rin yung pamilya kasi mag-aaway rin kayo eh. Ah, yeah, so, yeah, important, yeah. importante rin to ensure the continuity of the family. Dapat the business must remain Uh, successful and separate from the family. Opo. Sa immediate family, kayo yung pinaka uh, malaki ang responsibility eh. Pagdating po sa uh, pamilya, 
Paano niyo po minamanage yung oras niyo? Ano oras kayo gumigising? Ano oras kayo move? Paano ho yung required na oras para sa pamilya? Generally, I go to work mga 8 a.m. Mm. And then I, I work till mga 7 or so. And then mm. a couple of times a week, may meeting ako sa gabi, dinner or, mm. or the like. But well, the rest of the time, nasa, nasa bahay ako. Nasa ba- ah, ganun po. Correct. I think I, I, I learned this from my, my dad. No? Mm. At that time, talagang my dad was... Siguro wala pang traffic at that time. Uh, Pero he was very, he worked very long hours, maski Sabado nag, nagtatabahan siya. Pero naalala ko nung bata kami, everyday nakaka-uwi siya for dinner. Sabay-sabay kami, my mom and the six kids, we all have dinner around 7pm. Mm-hmm. Tapos minsan babalik pa siya ng office after, uh-huh. no? that's when he was growing up. Tapos every Saturday, we will go to his his office naman. No? Mm-hmm. Then maybe he will uh, finish work early on Saturday mga 3 or 4. Yeah, then dadalhin niya kami sa, kasi tagapasig kami eh. Mm-hmm. No? Dadalhin kami sa Unimart sa may Green Hills. Yeah, Bago yes, pa lang yes. Unimart at Apo. that time. Uh, dadalhin kami sa book section ng mm-hmm. Unimart. And his, his one indulgence sa amin is hindi, hindi niya kami binibigyan ng pocket money. Pero his sasabi niya, you can, you can buy any any book you want to, Ay, to read. Ano. So mm-hmm. on Saturday, in habit namin, we'll all go to Unimart, magsha-shopping kami, bibili kami ng libro. Mm-hmm. Tapos dadalhin niyo kami sa sa restaurant ng Unimart para kumain ng spaghetti. Kumpo <laughs> <laughs> siya, no? Sobrang importante sa kanya ang pamilya, no? Pamilya, mm-hmm. uh, in learning. So, uh-huh. that, that family is very important kasi maski now, very close siya sa, sa mom niya eh. Because mm-hmm. yung mom niya, nabiuda siya ng Napo. very young. She had six kids, six months old to 13 years old. Uh, which is my dad. Napo. So, so, parang naging head of the family siya at 13. Uh-huh. So, with, with his mom, they really kept the family together. I remember when we were growing up, my when my grandmother was alive, every every week, the whole family would would be in the house, no? <laughs> including all our cousins. No? At totoo ba na uh, kahit na malalaki na kayo, eh, sa isang kwarto lang kayo natutulog? <laughs> yeah. I, I can remember na habang... High school, hanggang, until when I went to the abroad to study, Apo. we all slept in the same room, all eight of us. <laughs> <laughs> Tipid so, sa aircon. No? <laughs> Apo, ano? Gano'n ka-importante yun sa inyong pamilya? Yung, isip-sipin nyo, siguro makaya nyo magpatayo na sarili nyo mga kwarto, la, bawat isa sa inyo. Pero sa isang kwarto kayo natutulog. We just want to be together, mm-hmm. siguro, at that time. So, mm-hmm. it creates a familiarity with with each other mm-hmm. and uh, trust and parang in a way good good relations no? mm-hmm. nasanay kayo sa pag- having a lot of people around yeah, no? actually po sa sa panahon ngayon ang dami dami ng umaasenso na ng mga negosyante pero at the end of the day maunlad nga ang buhay pero ang mga anak na napabayaan medyo hindi maganda ang ang napuntahan Meron po yatang prinsipyo ang inyong ama tungkol dun eh. Uh, tungkol dun sa kung gaano, kung, uh, kung bakit dapat i-prioritize yung pagpapalaki uh, sa mga anak. Sabi niya ng inyong tatay, may mga kaibigan siya na umasenso, pero yung mga anak naman nila ay eh, naging yung iba, naging drug addict at naging ibang, eh, iba, naging bum. Nasabi yan ng tatay, nanay mm. ko sa akin, gaano ka kayaman kung may problema ka sa anak mo. Mm-mm. Let's say they become, yung sinabi mo nga, mm-hmm. drug addict mm-hmm. or irresponsible mm-hmm. or uh, tamad or uh, parang lahat ng pinaghirapan mo, ga, lahat ng kayamano, mm-hmm. makakalimutan mo eh. Mm-hmm. Because ipro- ipro-problema mo yung anak mo sa pamilya. Oh, po. Sa panahon po na to, isa po kayo sa mga tinitingnan, tinitingala ng mga nag-uumpisa pa lang sa negosyo, tapos yung iba naman ay siguro nakakaarangkada na. Ano po ba ang maipapayo nyo sa mga nagninegosyo, lalo yung mga nagsisimula pa lamang? I can only share, no? as I said earlier, mm-hmm. napaka-privileged kong tao. Yeah, my, my dad was, uh, my parents really supported me. And mm-hmm. as, as I said, they grew up with a silver spoon. Pero sa makikita kong habits ng successful business people, lahat sila very focused. They're all very simple and hardworking. Mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. They're not flashy mm-hmm. at all. No? Third is their... They're thinking very long term, no? Mm-hmm. Parang yung business lumalaki dahil dahil sa hindi one time deal, one time deal lang yeah. nagpapalaki ng negosyo. It's mm-hmm. it's building trust, building a reputation so that yes. people will want to come back to, to you and mm-hmm. and do and do more business, no? Y- yung po bang 
mga kapatid po ninyo, kayo pag nagkikita-kita at napag-uusapan, ang ang laki na nitong empire na to. Meron pa ba kayong mga pangarap na hindi niyo pa nararating? Meron pa ba kayong mga napag-uusapang gusto niyong gawin? It's important to continue dreaming mm. and mm. and envisioning a mm. a better future. I think the moment you you become satisfied with the state of your business, parang nawala yun uh, desire to improve yeah, or to compete. I think nagiging complacent yung business. Then mm. then I think that yun ang umpisa ng Uh, downfall, niya, downfall. downfall niya. Mm-hmm. I think it's always important to keep on learning and to keep on recognizing that there's areas for for improvement. How to keep that passion o yung yung pong uh, kagustuhan na lumaki pa? I think it's not necessarily growth ang tinitingnan namin Apo. or profits. It, I, I think many for me were a lot of rich people I know, Apo. business people. They're satisfied na there. Pero what they want to do is keep on improving the the, mm-hmm. the business and improve their products. Kasi that's the only way they can be competitive. Eh. Uh, and dami ng competition, ano po? Uh, and dami ng so lahat ng negosyo. Yeah. Grabe ang competition. Ikani na nabanggit niyo yung hindi hindi flashy. Mm-hmm. Eh, but ba yung totoong mayaman eh yung pa yung simple, ano? Eh, yung mga katulad namin na nagpapanggap lang eh kami pa ang Uh, mag-arbo sa katawan. Yan ba talaga kayo? Kayo ba ganyang mga bilyonaryo? Hindi kayo masyadong mahilig sa mga mga branded o mga mga magagarbong mga uluho na bagay? I guess depende din sa individual, no? Uh, I guess kami or kami, or my family, I guess natuto kami sa mom and dad ko. They're very they're very simple in their needs, no? Uh, so maybe nap- napas sa amin yan. For me, no? Yung most important sa akin, It's not maganda kotse or magandang jewelry or sinosot. It's mm-hmm. more important. Yung pinakakulang ko is oras. Uh, oras po. for family or, or personal time to do the things I enjoy doing. Like, mm-hmm. you know, relax lang or manood, manood lang ng Netflix o magbasa. <laughs> uh, po. Yung po talaga ang uh, parang kulang, ano? Oras. Uh, oras, correct. Oras. Nabanggit nyo naman na yung iba, pero ano pa po yung mga... Ibang pinagkakaabalahan nyo pag wala kayo sa uh, hanap buhay, wala kayo sa opisina, wala kayo mga meetings? Una is spending time with the family, mm-hmm. with kaibigan. Apo. Para sa akin, personally, it's time for exercise, time mm-hmm. for reading and watching TV. Apo. Pinaka-importante, time matulog. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ng daddy nyo, Kansya, uh, eight hours talaga ang tulog niya. In habit ng mm. daddy ko na hindi ko pa napipick up is parang nakakatulog siya kahit napaka-stress niya. No? Mm. Pero secret niya is every afternoon he takes a short nap. Uh-huh. Parang siesta, no? Nagsisiesta siya. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hindi niyo pa nagagawa yun? Hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa nagagawa yun. <laughs> Bakit? Dahil gumagawa agad. Gusto niyo kagad magtrabaho pagkatapos ng lunch? Dami kasing text ngayon eh. <laughs> <laughs> Totoo. Totoo naman, ano? Well, ang daming problema. Ang dami rin naman magagandang uh, balita. Pero basketball, ha? pag basketball pa ako kayo? Dati, mahilig talaga ako mag-basketball. Mm-hmm. In fact, na, nakakapasok rin ako sa school team. Mm-hmm. School team, palagi akong kinukuhang tawag nila the 12th man. Bakit ba? Yan ang huling player kasi kailangan na ng sponsor sa team. <laughs> <laughs> Pero sino po ang ang idol nyo na basketball player po? Dati, yung panahon na when I was growing up, yung favorite team ko yung mga Chris, yung Chris Pa. Chris Pa, opo. Chris Pa. So, mm-hmm. sila Atoy ko. Atoy, and, uh, and Pero when we had a team before, mm-hmm. yung Great Pace, the okay, yes, mm-hmm. we had yung favorite player ko si Alan, Alan K. Dick. Dick. Yes, Alan K. Dick. Then si Rick, oh. Ricky Brown. Mm. Si Ricardo Brown. Oo nga pala. No? Ba't ba nalimutan? Kayo nga pala may ari ng great taste. Kasi naging import nyo si Winston Kreit. Eh. Yung Winston, Winston Kreit. Naging import nyo yung... Walang ginawa yung, kumang, yung black ang tawag sa kanya. Human eraser. Eh. Ah, human eraser. Oh, ah, Magaling ang black. Magaling yung uh, defense. Okay. Opo. Puro uh, defense po yung... Uh, okay. Tama. Ricky Brown. Ano? Ricky Brown. Yung, Quick uh, Brown Fox. Oo. Oh. At matagal sa inyo na coach si, si Baby, Baby Dalupan. Dalupan. Baby Dalupan. Dalupan. Sa opisina, 'di ba may mga 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 sports fest, mga liga. Uh, Siguro when I was younger in my 30s. Yeah, sumasali ako sa sports fest sa uh, league, may liga kami sa uh, kumpanya. Mm-hmm. So every every Siguro once a week, nag- naglalaro kami sa, sa gabi. So, nakikahalubilo talaga kayo sa mga empleyado po ninyo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Meron daw po kayong isang uh, parang ano ba to? Sinasadya nyo bang gawin na every three months, 
makikipag-meeting kayo, makikipag-merienda kayo sa mga 30, about 30 employees ninyo. Yeah, we have parang gumagawa ng parang salo-salo, mm-hmm. salo-salo with different yep. different employees para yep. minsan kasi kung manager ka na or CEO ka na, parang yung committee mo na lang pare-pareho na lang yung mga manager yep. mo. So yep. dapat I sometimes we create opportunities to meet with the uh, you know, more entry level members of the company or yep. I make sure I go visit different stores, different factories para makita ko naman yun in, have a sense of reality. No? Yeah, po. Totoo yun. Eh, pero sinasabi ba nila talaga yung gusto sabihin? Baka naman nakatingin yung supervisor ba? Wala kang magsabi niya. Well, opportunity na nila yun. Yeah, po. <laughs> Nagsusumbong. May mga iba nagsusumbong sa inyo ng sitwasyon sa baba. Ganun? You know, generally, yung mga, sa mga salo-salo, uh, it's nagbibigay sila ng feedback pero hindi sila na hindi sila nagsusum- hindi ah, sila nagsusumbong in general. Uh-huh. It's more, we hope we can improve this, pero hindi sila nagsusumbong na uh-huh. itong manager, alam mo, ganito. Uh-huh. Hindi uh-huh. Ganun. Uh-huh. Yan, usually dumarating sa email yan. Uh-huh. <laughs> pa, paano nyo po pinipili yung mga kasali dun sa salo-salo? Different themes, ay yung, yung pumipili na yun, H- yun HR. HR, HR. 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 Uh-huh. Yung regular is lahat ng mga bagong junior managers who join the, the business or managers, we, we, we invite to a salo-salo. Mm-hmm. Uh, siguro every every couple of months. Opo. So ngayon po, mga gano karami na ang empleyado ng, ng Gokong Way Group po? Yung buong group, mga 90,000. Opo. Totoo ba na kayo po eh, pagka bumibiyahe ay hindi daw kayo nagbibusiness class? Ah, hindi naman. Nagbibusiness class rin ako mm-hmm. minsan Apo. kung, kung long haul. Opo, pag long haul. Pero kung short haul, I, I usually take Cebu Pacific. Opo. Kumusta po ba pagka nakakatabi kayo ng mga ng mga ordinaryong pasahero? <laughs> ah, minsan na uh, na-recognize ako and mm. then usually marami nang papa-picture. Oh, and, and lang. Pero usually there people naman rec- re- recognize your your privacy. So, oh, so ay iya din sila. O baka akala suplado kayo. Baka mukha ako suplado. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Pero hindi us hindi ko maniwala <laughs> kayo pag naalala niyo po sir mga siguro Mga, mga seven years ago, nasa loob ko kayo sa hallway ng ABS. Eh, ako pa nga nahiya sa, sa inyo dahil pangiti-ngiti kayo sa akin eh. Kasi akala ko, masungit kayo eh. Pero nung initaan niya ako, nagpa-picture tuloy ako sa inyo. Pero baka hindi niyo na naalala po yun. Oh. Ganun po, eh, bossing ng, ng uh, ilang kumpanya ho ba yung Gokong Way Group? Nabibilang niyo pa ho ba? Lampas 100, pero ayan. Yeah. Lampas 100. Mm-hmm. Lahat po ba na yan, eh, kilala niyo yung mga presidente niyo? Yeah, lahat Ayaw naman. Lahat naman. Ayaw po. Paano niyo po minamanage yung mga, yung about 100 companies na to? Meron po kaming leadership team na mga uh, 15 people. Ayaw po. So, we have very strong management team na uh, lahat naman sila may sariling capabilities. They got appointed to that position dahil meron silang na-demonstrate na abilities and experience. Mm-hmm. So, that's why they're in that position of, of, of trust and accountability. Mm-hmm. Meron pong sinabi ang tatay nyo na mag-hire ng mga tao who are smarter than you. Totoo ba? Ginagawa nyo ba talaga yan? Tama naman yan. Mm-hmm. I think so. Kasi... Kung hindi ka mag-hire ng people na mas matalino sa'yo, mas masarik, masipag sa'yo, mas magaling sa'yo, ikaw ang gagawa ng lahat ng trabaho, hindi <laughs> eh, naman masarap na buhay yun, diba? So, so for <laughs> self-preservation rin, yeah, kung gusto mo mag- um- umunlad yung negosyo mo at gusto mo yung personal life mo mas mas uh, mas masaya, dapat mag-hire ka ng mas magaling sa'yo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kundi lahat ng problema, mapupunta lang sa'yo. Kahit mahal. Kahit mahal. Kahit mahal. Yung, yung concept ng mahal o hindi mahal is... Mm. My dad is very personally simple, no? Mm-hmm. Pero alam niyang it's not a question of malo, hindi. It's a mm-hmm. question of value. Nag, 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 nagde-deliver ba yung tao na yan? Is, is it worthwhile? Ah, is it, they, and really, the best investment you can make, that my, and that my dad taught me this, is to, to really invest in, in, in good leaders for your business. Mm-hmm. Noong pong pandemic, isa po kayo sa mga nabang, hinangaan, Dahil imbis na bumagsak, eh, nag-thrive po ang inyong empire. Ano po ginawa nyo doon? Anong sikreto nyo doon? Actually, yung business namin during pandemic, nahirapan talaga kami kasi mm. maraming business namin dependent sa mm. sinasabi na public mobility, no? the ability of people mm. pumunta sa trabaho o pumasok. So, yung business namin sa malls, na maraming nasara. Mm-hmm. 
especially yung mga hotel, sarap. Yung pinakamahirapan, yung, hot, yung oh, airline. Po. Kasi yung airline, airline oh, walang bibiyahe. Oh, walang bibiyahe. So, uh, I think we were able to succeed in many ways. Kasi first, uh, medyo diversified yung business namin. Oh, na we're medyo conservative kami na tao. Hindi kami mm. umutang na masyadong maraming oh, pera. So, we had some businesses na kahit may pandemic are still steady. Mga food business, ah, po, mga supermarket ah, business, these are still steady. Tapos, mm. second is, we have good, very committed people mm. na they still went to work, they still did everything they do to mm. to keep the business going. No? Tapos, third, the reason we kept going is a lot of our businesses are essential to uh-huh. the country. No? Like, you have to keep supermarkets open, you have to keep pharmacies open because these are essential goods. Yeah, well. The airlines are essential to bring in COVID mm. vaccines also. Yeah, well. So, we, we know we have a public responsibility as a business to keep these businesses operating. Actually, yung usapan natin na to, napansin yung balik ng balik dun sa, sa airpot nyo, huh? sa tatay nyo, kasi parang nakausap po na rin yung tatay nyo habang kausap po kayo. Eh. Yung sabi niya na kung ano yung kailangan ng tao, yun ang ninegosyo niya. Uh, no? uh-huh. Tama po ba yan? Correct, correct. Alam mo yung dati, sabi niya, in, when he was starting 50s, 60s, ano ba kailangan ng tao? Food, clothing, shelter. Mm-mm. So yun unang negosyo niya, food. Yun. URC, gumagawa ng coffee, katulad ng Blend 45 at that time, Mm-mm. or first snacks, yun, Jack and Jill. Tapos clothing. So dati nasa textile business kami. Yeah, yeah. Litton, Litton Mills, Mills Robby Tech. Siyang gumagawa ng maong. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapos nagbebenta siya sa clothing sa department store. Then yung third is shelter. Gumagawa siya ng, gumagawa siya ng hotel yeah, at that po. time. Pero ngayon, I guess iba na yung hinahanap ng tao. Na, ta- hinahanap ng tao ngayon is uh, uh, more sophisticated, more, you know, uh, so that's, they want to travel, mm-hmm. they want to they want internet. Mm-mm. So, yung mga business namin, I guess, changed over over time. Naging uh-huh. airline business, naging... Uh, Nag-telecoms kayo, di ba? Uh, we're, we're shareholders uh-huh. in uh, PLDT uh-huh. and Meralco, which, of uh-huh. course, offer vital services Mm-mm. na kailangan ng tao. So, kung ano yung kailangan ng tao doon kayo, Correct. kaya pala itong first, ha- first half ng, ng taon na to eh, tama ba yung nabasa ko? Magkano daw yung inyong uh, net net profit 10 billion ba yun? Ah, 10 billion. 10 billion. Ang liit ano. Para sa lahat ng shareholders. <laughs> ang ang tindi po na no. Ah, 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 ano po ba yan? Nakit nakita niyo ba yan yung growth na yan kahit na ang ekonomiya natin ay hindi ganong kagandahan ngayong mga panahon na to. I think uh, <clears throat> for our business to grow, kailangan talaga the whole country grows no. Mm-hmm. And I think the economy now is suffering because of higher interest rates you know, and higher oh, inflation. Well. But definitely compared to last year, it's 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 much stronger. No? Last mm-hmm. year was uh, we already had uh, the opening <coughs> benefits no? that had the end of COVID and oh, then well. uh, this year, especially the first half was also growing quite quite uh, strongly as people continued to uh, normalize your work. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm still quite optimistic that uh, the country will continue to grow in the coming in the coming uh, years. Although, tama ka, medyo nakaka-challenge tong uh, effects ng inflation, no? pagtaas ng pressure ng langis, uh-huh. etc. na rise na in many ways outside outside the country's control. No? Pasensya na kayo, tatanungin ko sa inyo ito. No? Um, tingin niyo po ba ay nasa tamang direction tayo with uh, with the president at the helm? Yeah, I think the president mm. has uh, the biggest mandate ever from the Filipino people. No? Uh-huh. He, won, he won more than half the, the votes. Uh-huh. And I think he also recognizes that the public and the private must work together. Uh-huh. As in, job number one ng countries for the economy to, to grow, to create more employment and uh, more opportunities for, for Filipinos. Mm-hmm. So I think that's happening. I think he's it, but it, we have to be patient because it, it takes time to to bring in mm-hmm. uh, investment and also a uh, medio unfortunate times tayo na globally sa America. It's oh, oh, no, the, the, the interest okay. rates are tumataas and in, may may gera sa Ukraine and Russia na papataas rin ang presyo ng mm-hmm. ng langis. So medio forces outside of the. Uh, Philippines control, we're a very small country in the world, we're, mm-hmm. we're, we're affected by that. No? 
Pero importante sinabi niyo na yun na, na kailangan ng pasensya, ano? Kailangan pasensya. May mga tao kasi na naiinip na eh. Uh, meaning yung mga ordinaryong tao. Siguro, uh, yung ilan sa 31 million na sinasabi po ninyo ay baka naiinip na. I'm sure. Mm. I'm sure because mm. uh, I guess yung inflation kasi affects, no, affects everybody. No? Mm. Especially yung yung Sana, mahirap, no? Opo. Uh, bigas ah. yung, yung price of yeah lalo na po yung rice prices nga no mm-hmm. okay uh, pasensya na punta tayo bigla dun sa <laughs> kasi nung ang, ang daddy ninyo ayaw niya ng negosyo sana na dependent sa may pakialam yung gobyerno mm-hmm. kasi ayaw niya ng corruption etc eh kayo ba hindi nahihirapan na ang ang ilan po sa mga negosyo ninyo ay kailangan po ng government uh, regulations Yeah, I, I think that's necessary. I mean, especially the in airline Mabaw. airline business, we're a public utility, so Mabaw. we are under the supervision of the government. Maski yung main supplier namin, which is the airport, is owned by the Mabaw. by the government. Mm-mm. So by necessity, we have we we will work with the with with the with the government to try to. Pareho lang naman ang objective namin, eh, which is to ensure a safe, affordable, reliable transport transportation for for Philippines. Sa inyo ba ay mas bumubuti ba ang sitwasyon ng airline industry ngayon? Specifically, ang pinakamalaking airline company ngayon ay ang inyong kumpanya. Hindi pa kami nakakabalik sa 28, 17, 18, 19. Opo. Dahil, pero I have to say, it's much bet- better than 2020 to 2022 dahil Opo. sobra pong malaki yung nalugi namin dahil sa, dahil sa COVID. No? Because mm-hmm. we still have to daming pa rin namin we, we, we maintained uh, a lot of our employees mm-hmm. nagbabayad pa kami ng mga utang namin mga cost ng mga maintenance leases ng aer- aeroplano mm-hmm. pero hindi naman kami maka, makalipad no? Apo. pagka narinig po kayo ng reklamo ng pasahero sa tungkol sa Cebu Pacific ano nararamdaman nyo bilang bossing? syempre I'm bothered by it but I'm also I have to recognize pere ng hard earned pera yun ng, yes, ng, ng guest eh. Apo. So, I, I, we take it as a feedback na we, have, we just have to do, we have to do better and uh, that's what we, we've been trying to do. No? We, we, we also have to recognize na with the entry of Cebu Pacific over the last 25 years, we've flown almost 200 million passengers Apo. already. Apo. And then, we, we've made flying really affordable to to many Filipinos. No? Panang, I guess people don't, a larger company now, people don't remember the times 20, 25 years ago na only, uh, only uh, mga mayayaman nakakasakay uh, uh, ng aeroplano, uh, uh, mga doon and doon niya. Ngayon, uh, uh, kahit sino, uh, kahit sino nakaka, uh, uh, nakaka-travel na. But that's still a uh, message to us. Now, as I said, we cannot be complacent. We have to keep on improving. Mm-hmm. Baka may baka mga good news kayo na gustong sabihin sa ating mga kababayan in so far as your companies are concerned po. as i said we're business conditions as you said are are more challenging now primarily mm-hmm. because of interest rates uh, inflation medyo mataas mm-hmm. but i think this this too shall shall pass i'm confident that we're very confident that the philippines will will continue to develop and grow as a nation so as a business uh, the only thing i can say is my My people, my team, and myself were, were dedicated to continuing to invest in in providing better services, uh, creating more jobs in the, in the country. Uh, in the airlines, for instance, we, we continue to bring in additional aircraft, brand new aircraft, mm-hmm. to, to continue to serve uh, uh, the needs of, 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 of our country. Sir, marami salamat po sa inyo. May, yung pong bang wallet niyo, idala ninyo? Wallet po. May wallet po ba kayo? Meron po akong... Uh, ay, yan lang po. Wala ko kayong wallet. Wala eh. Uh-huh. Tatanong ko sana kung magkano laman ng wallet ninyo eh. Uh, At makahin pre- eh. Uh, po. <laughs> Taplag na na ako, credit card. Oo, oh, sige po. May uh, credit. BPI. Apo. Uh, At uh, go time. <laughs> Taka muna nga pala, bago ko lang malimutan. Ano ba ang dapat namin gamitin o natin gamitin yung mga nanonood sa atin? Credit card o debit card? Depende sa need, no? Pero... Hmm. Yung debit card ay that's your savings na actually, di ba? No po. So I think the first thing I would advise is you can use for bigger customer needs, you use the credit card. Mm-hmm. Pero yung credit card, dapat you should recognize na kung hindi mo binayad ng at 
within yung payment period ah, eh, mag- magiging utang yun ah, po. diba syempre some things are really more di man <laughs> not, you cannot save for it so ah, then you just have to use your credit wisely no? kung, ah, kung uutang ka I mean just hopefully it's for something na essential mm. no? kayo po ba may utang pers- yung personal personal hindi kumpanya may utang ba kayo ako uh, personally uh, ako walang meron akong utang yung kinagamit pang working capital eh, utang apo. Uh, apo. ano yung sinas ano yung go ano yung ah go time parang apo, uh, ano yung... digital bank po yun uh, joint venture po ng go kong way group and time bank ito po uh, paano ba ito ginagamit pwede ba uh, akong magkaroon debit card po yun ha, pwede debit ba akong magkaroon nito pwede <laughs> download po yun app tapos uh, napakadali in 5 minutes mag Punta tayo sa Robinsons, pwede ka mag... Uh, pwede ka na kumuha ng uh, debit card doon. Ah, uh, bilis pala. Ah, uh, bilis pala. <laughs> Ay, ano pala yung pinanonood niya sa Netflix po? Ano mo pinapanood ko ngayon? Ako, kay drama ho kasi pinapanood ko. One Piece, One Piece. One Piece. Pero piece. second episode pala ako. <laughs> <laughs> eh, kailan yung napapanood yun? Anong oras? Bago matulog. Bago pa matulog. Kaya, kaya never ko natatapos. <laughs> <laughs> nakakatulog, nakakatulog ang po ninyo. Uh-huh. Opo. Sir, maraming salamat thank you, po. Thank you, thank you. Thank you po sa pagkakataon. Thank you, thank you. Opo, thank you. Isang karangalan po. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Katunig.